So today in the assessment with the Stompit devices, what we're gonna look at is we're gonna look at squats and lunges. Now we already had a look at my rep max squat uh, previously, so sorry we got two reps out. I think it was at 80 kilos from memory. Uh, what we're gonna do now is we're gonna have a look at three versions of squats and lunges. So I'm gonna look at a fast, so a max velocity, so how fast can I go down and up? Three times. I'm gonna have a look at a pause, so I'm gonna get down to the bottom of that squat. I'm gonna push up as fast as I can. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna look at an isometric squat and an isometric lunge, okay? So three different assessments that you can do on the uh, stomp it plates. All right, so the first one I'm gonna do is a squat fast. So I'm just gonna start that off there and I'm gonna go as fast as I can. Good, two, three. What did you see there? So shifting left or right, where was that weight going? What do you think? Uh, which leg do you think I was loading 12% more through? Can you tell? Left leg or right leg? So it was actually my right leg. So I was putting in 77 kilos versus 67 kilos worth of force there. But the rate of force development again, I was generating force a lot quicker through the left side. So it was 26% more actually through the left side than the right side. So I'm generating more force through the right, it's actually how I'm generating the efficiency that I've got through the left probably. So it's suggesting maybe I'm not as efficient potentially through the uh, right side. Again, I've got to put together with all the other data that I've collected through the day. Now we're going to go to a squat pause. So this is similar again. So this time though, as we said before, I'm just going to go down to the bottom of the squat. I'm going to hold it and then I'm going to drive up as fast as I can. So if I work start there, so I'm going down, I'm going to hold, push up as fast as I can. Down, hold, push up as fast as I can. And again, down, push. Again, which leg do you think I was putting more force through? You're probably right, it was that right side again. So again, 9% more through the right and max force, but 10% more rate of force development, more power generation through that left side. So again, potentially a little bit more efficient. Let's get my isometric testing bar, and we're gonna rack it. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna come into like a quarter squat position. So something like, that's probably good. And we're gonna see what my max isometric force is in the squat, okay? So I'm gonna go again, set myself, I'm gonna push as fast as I can and as hard as I can. And again. Okay, so what do you think was happening there? Which leg was a... Um, putting more weight through. So 24% more force through the right leg than the left leg. And we know from all the testing so far, my right leg's actually the weaker leg compared to the left leg. So what do you think's going on there? Have a think, write in the comments uh, below or write, head to our website and join in the chat there. When we look at rate of force development again, I was about 8% quicker and more able to generate force on the left leg than the right leg. So there you go, there's our squats, there's our three different assessments. We're gonna do the same for the lunge now, okay? While we've got the isometric bar here, we're gonna start with that first. So I'm just gonna set that up, ready. Okay. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start in this isometric position here. I'm gonna push up as hard as I can, as fast as I can. All right, let's go. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to push as fast and as hard as I can in this lunge position. I'm going to stop that left leg. I'm now going to switch to the right leg. So we're going to use the same plate. Oh, that feels slow. Ooh, it's a lot slower on that side. Let's have a look. So my max force is actually 5% stronger on the right side. All the max force in all these tests so far is more on the right side. But huge discrepancy there. So on the right side, I was actually 50% quicker on the left side compared to the right side. So huge discrepancy in that power ability on the right leg compared to the left leg. Let's have a look at some of our other lunge assessments. So. Like we did the squat, we're gonna do a fast. So I'm gonna try and lunge onto the plate and back off as quick as I can. All right, three times. Good. 
and then I'm going to hit stop there for that left side and then I'm going to do the right side. So have a look at that elastic recoil ability. Good. Okay. So peak force going through each leg when I was lunging there. About 86 kilos or so both sides. But again, 30% quicker rate of force development on the left compared to the right. Let's have a look at a pause. So I'm going to go into that pause position at the bottom and I'll push up as quick as I can. Good, three times. Push. Again. Push. Nice work. Doing well, Steve. Getting a bit of a puff up here. Sorry about that, guys. I'm going to go down again into this side. Push up as quick as I can. I'm going to try and push through that front leg. And again, an extra 10 kilos of force on this right leg, but rate of force development wise, I'm looking at 25% more on this side. So consistent across all of those tests that we've done for both the squats and lunges. A bit more force through that right leg, but the rate of force development was much better, much higher on the left leg. So have a think about what that means. Write in the comments below or head over to the website, join in the conversation and make sure you start to think about all these things, how you might go about improving some of these results. Because uh, you can head over to the website, enter in your program uh, once you've watched all the videos and seen all the data for my rehabilitation plan that I'll do for the, the first two phases. Personally writes the best program for me. I'm going to give a free Matt Live course in 2019. So head over to the website, do it now.